Now, with the ongoing pandemic, summer may be a bit of, of a bummer for your kids. Summer camps may be harder to find, but for those that will open, the health and safety of your kids is now more important than ever before. Simmons Alex Browning shows us. Can we do it safely? Can we do summer camp safely? And that's the question that South Florida leaders are trying to figure out. But some community organizations say, yes, they can. Just the approach has to be a little bit different now. A new definition of summer camp in a world with COVID-19. Our classes are going to be much smaller. Forget what you know and have seen in the past. The new norm includes social distancing, smaller groups, masks, temperature checks, and limited contact. It's going to be one of those type of uh, situations where we're taking care of the kids and keeping them safe um, and trying to create fun activities for the kids while they're here. The Boys and Girls Club of Miami-Dade will be utilizing their large campuses to social distance and keep groups under 10. We'll have more staff dealing with the pickup and the drop-off uh, and more staff on the, on the cleaning side. And for those attending camp at the Frost Museum in downtown Miami, you can expect smaller groups as well and designated times to tour exhibits. They kind of get like an exclusive access to our different museum areas and then we'll have our hands-on activities in our night learning center classrooms. And similar procedures in Broward. The Weston YMCA says they're ready to welcome campers. They're getting creative with social distant activities. We're used to going on field trips. We'll bring the field trips to the kids. Programs across South Florida making some big changes, including limiting capacity, going contactless, and even some going virtual. Since we're going to be in a limited capacity, the other kids that will not be able to attend will definitely maintain the virtual summer program. The Boys and Girls Club continues their virtual services into summer, which includes group activities and virtual exercise. The idea is to keep the, 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 men, the, the mental process going and working as opposed to just being home. And at the Frost Museum, virtual campers, for example, explore the oceans and even the Everglades from home. The great thing is that you pick up your materials here from the museum, and then you get to do all the hands-on activities and experiments from home. And so far, real no guidance from any government agency on what these programs can expect for summer camps and no real timeline either, but you can expect limited capacity, which means it may be tougher to get your children into summer camp this year. In Miami, Alex Browning, 7 News.